Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. So glad to see you again and your smiling faces. Today we have a new feature, a brand new feature from the October 2019 release that I wanted to uh, essentially showcase. And in order to do that, I wanted to show you one of the enhancements that we received with the with the unified interface. So in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and create an email just so you can see. So in the unified interface, you will notice that now we have a rich text editor to compose emails. This is something that people have been asking about for years, right? We had kind of like that text only even within email templates. We couldn't really put together something nice, but now, you know, you can enter whatever you want and you can, you know, change the size and you can change the colors and you can do all kinds of different things, which is pretty cool. Now that it's only available on the email entity uh, or on the email activity type if you see it that way. So for example, if I go back, I'm gonna go ahead and discard these changes here. And let's say I go into the appointment entity, let's just say, uh, you will notice that if I scroll down here, sorry, I didn't mean to select everything. Notice that the description field within the appointment is still kind of old school text only. Uh, that is only what we have. So whatever I type in here is just text. There's nothing else I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and save that word test in there just so you can see what's going to happen. So with the October 2019 release for Dynamics 365 Online, Microsoft quietly released this feature called Rich Text Experience for Appointment Activities. And the idea is that it will replace the description field with a rich text editor, kind of like the same one we have. It's actually identical to the one that we get with the email activity type. Now, the process to enable this feature is a little complicated. Well, it all depends, I guess, on your skill level. If you're used to running PowerShell commands, this will not intimidate you. You will be able to run this thing, no problem, and get it done. If you don't know how to do it, you can still learn how to do it, set it up, set up, you know, configure PowerShell with the uh, Dynamics 365 commandlet and be able to run this thing and execute. It's a great opportunity to learn, but it will take you maybe, if you've never done it before, an hour to two hours just to enable that feature. Instead of doing that, what I decided to do was to reach out to Sean McNellis, who is the creator of the organization DB settings utility or editor for Dynamics 365. And I asked Sean if it would be too difficult to add this to the amazing list of features. I believe there's 93 potential settings that are available to be edited inside his tool. And within about four to eight hours, he came back with a new version of the tool that had this feature enabled on it. And we're gonna enable it today and you can see how quick this is. Now in order to do that, let's start the countdown and let's go. So here's the solution that you're going to download if you don't have it already. If you already have it, make sure you go back and download the latest version of the solution. I have added the link to this solution below on the comments, on the description of this video. So make sure you get that. Now once you open the solution, you will notice all of the different settings that are here, but the one that we're looking for is this one, Appointment Rich Text Editor Experience. And we're gonna switch it from false to true. It's a Boolean, uh, so all we're gonna do is enter true in here. We're gonna click update and accept the changes. That's it. That's all it is. So if you time that, it will be about 10 seconds maybe that it would take you to change the whole thing. Once you've done that, check this out. You don't have to publish. You don't have to do anything. Just F5 to refresh. All right. And now scroll down and boom, check that out. How awesome is that? Full, rich text editor. Now I can select, I can add my colors, I can insert pictures, I can do whatever I want. Everything has been enabled. Now, sadly, this feature is only available for the appointment activity. So now you will have it under emails and appointments. I want Microsoft to come up with it for phone calls and tasks, just so we have a unified experience for all the different activity types. And hopefully we won't even have to enable it. Hopefully it will be enabled, it, uh, it will be enabled out of the box or something that maybe we can enable with a checkbox within settings or something. But for now, if you don't have that solution, once again, 
Shout out to Sean McNellis for adding this uh, to the list of amazing features. I mean, look at this stuff. There's like, I don't know, it's almost 100. I believe it's about 94 right now. So again, shout out to him. He deserves all the credit. This is great stuff. So thank you, Sean, for doing that. And again, thank you guys, thank you guys for watching this week's Two Minute Tuesday. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more of these videos. If you're watching this months after it came out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that alert, that little bell so you can get alerted every time we release a video, which is every Tuesday at least. In some weeks we release more than one, but I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.